Welcome back, my little piggies. I hear that you want to beef up and that you want to beef up with kettlebells. Can you build muscle with kettlebells? This is a subject of some debate. Some people say enthusiastically yes. Other people say definitely not. Well, Pat Flynn, old Patsy McFly, is here to clear up the confusion for you in this brief video because I respect your time, but not too brief because I have to soak up that delicious monetary revenue from YouTube. In this relatively brief video, I'm going to explain the facts, my friend. And the facts are as follows. Yes, you can build muscle with kettlebells. You can build a quite decent amount of muscle with kettlebells, but you have to understand the core principles of muscle building. There are three. I'm going to tell you those in just a minute. Then you have to pick the right exercises, of which there are two. I'll tell you those also in just a minute. And then you have to do those exercises the right way. And at the end of this video, I will give you a program a proven effective program that I have given to clients for years called the Prometheus Protocol. Ooh, doesn't that sound special? And you're going to use it, and you're going to get awesome results, and you're going to beef up, you're going to develop that lean, hard, muscular physique that you've been wanting since, I don't know, since you saw the movie 300 or something like that. So let's get started. Principles are the thing. It doesn't matter what tool you use. If you don't understand the principles of muscle building, you're just not going to build muscle. Now, it's also true that some tools are just better at getting certain jobs done. If you have to dig a hole... I would usually prefer a shovel rather than a spoon. Yeah, you can get it done with a spoon, but if there's a shovel there, just use the shovel. So there are obviously some tools that are really good for building muscle. The barbell is one of those tools. And there are other tools where even if you can build muscle, it's just kind of tedious and very difficult. It's more like a spoon. Sometimes bodyweight exercises like that. Don't get me wrong, there, there are many great bodyweight exercises that can help build muscle, but some bodyweight exercises are pretty limited most of the time because you can't hit the right intensity. So what about the kettlebell? Well, good news. The kettlebell is a great tool for building strength and muscle so long as you pick the right exercises and do them in the right way. More on that in a minute. However, you need the three principles of muscle building to always apply. You'll notice I have this problem with my hand. I can go one, two. If I try to do three, I can't get it without my pinky coming up. Excuse my disability. There we go. Three principles of muscle building, they are as follows. One, you need to use heavy lifting and preferably heavy compound lifting. If you're not lifting heavy, and by heavy I mean you're working close to failure, where you have maybe just two to three reps in reserve. What that means, if you're pushing for 10 reps, you should be using a weight where you could perform no more than 12 to 13 reps. You have to be lifting heavy, like seriously heavy. And the biggest mistake that I find for why most people are not building muscle is they're seriously just not lifting heavy enough. Most people are not pushing themselves as hard as they can or should be when it comes to the compound lifts, the pressing, the hinging, the squatting, and so on. So that's principle number one, heavy compound lifting. Principle number two is sufficient volume. You need to be lifting not just a lot of weight, but a lot of reps throughout the week. The general rule is you want somewhere between 10 to 15 sets per major muscle group per week if you want to build muscle. If you are more of a beginner, you can come in at the lower end of that range. If you're more advanced, you might need a little bit more. But the truth is, if you want to build muscle, you really need a pretty significant amount of volume. And then of course, the third principle is the nutritional factor. You need to make sure that you have the raw materials. There's a saying, and it's generally correct, that your exercise program is sort of like the blue, the blue. So, what the, what the hell was that? I don't know. We're leaving it in. Your exercise program is the blueprint, but your nutrition is the raw materials, right? It's great to have the blueprint. It'll help you get the house built. But if you don't have the raw material, if you don't have the raw materials, the prime matter, if you will, uh, it ain't going to get built. So you need the surplus of not just calories, but protein. Don't be a total pig. You can't really force muscle to grow. Nutrition is more permission. It will allow muscle to grow. So just try to aim for somewhere between a 10 to 20 percent uh, calorie surplus, a 10 to 20% daily calorie surplus, and try to hit somewhere around a gram of protein per pound of body weight per day. Those are your good, general, proven effective rules for building muscle. So those are the principles. All right, let's talk about kettlebells. There are some kettlebell exercises that are awesome that I love, like seriously love, like the kettlebell swing and the kettlebell snatch and the kettlebell push press. But truth be told, these are not the best exercises if you're really just trying to put on a decent amount of muscle mass. Why? Because they're explosive, they're ballistic, they're great for conditioning and metabolic conditioning and muscle endurance. But if we want to put the principles of muscle building into practice with kettlebell, we should really think about kettlebells. And that means using double kettlebell exercises. And there are two that you need to be using if you want to gain serious muscle with kettlebells. Those two exercises are as follows. The double clean and press. Now the double clean and press is kind of two exercises blended into one. You have this explosive lower body hinge, 
which is great. That's going to help to develop the lower body, but it's really the upper body portion that we're interested in for our purposes here. The double kettlebell military press is a big compound lift. It's going to help to develop the pecs, the upper pecs, the shoulders, the triceps, the traps. It's going to give you that, that, that husky. You want to look like a husky. It's going to give you that husky look, that nice V taper, which you know, makes you look stronger and bigger. That's sort of what everybody's after when we're talking about building muscle. So the double kettlebell military press is going to take care of your upper body. That's exercise number one. Exercise number two is the double kettlebell front squat. Two kettlebells held in the rack position where you take a deep, heavy squat. Now, the reason these are the two best muscle building exercises that you can perform with kettlebells is simply because they are going to allow you to take a compound lift and move significant load. These are the kettlebell exercises where you're going to be able to lift heaviest with the big lift. So it's going to allow us to put that important muscle building principle into practice. Okay, finally, how can we use these exercises to actually build muscle? This is where we have to take those lifts and do them in a certain way throughout the week to facilitate muscle growth. So let me now give you the Prometheus protocol. This is something that I've been promoting for years. I have old videos that are really old uh, where I'm working out in front of a bunch of dumpsters and I was teaching people this and a lot of people have used it throughout the years and they've gotten really great results from it. It's a little bit refined, so let me give you the updated version. If you're a beginner, you're going to perform these lifts two times per week. Day one, you'll perform 10 sets of five reps of both exercises. Yes, that's a lot of volume. 10 sets of five reps of both double clean and press and then front squat. Day two, you're just gonna switch it around. You're gonna do five sets of 10 reps of double clean and press and front squat. Now remember, intensity is critical. Whether you're doing five reps or 10 reps, you need to use a weight where you are right next to failure, my friends. If you do not go heavy enough, this will not work. These routines are excruciating and if they're not, that means you're not going heavy enough. I cannot emphasize this enough. Okay, so that's your beginner program. That's pretty sweet, right? I mean, two days per week, two exercises, get the raw material, go to Chipotle after your routine, whatever you need to do, get the calories in and grow. If you're a little bit more advanced, say if you're intermediate, then I want you to add a third day and you will just repeat day two, but train on non-consecutive days, preferably. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. So the only difference, whether you're a beginner or a little bit more advanced, is just that extra day of work where you will perform five sets of 10 reps, again, of double clean and press and front squat. This is a super minimalist program. People always ask me, Pat, can I add some other work in? The answer is yes, you can, but I prefer you just sort of stick with the bare bones program at first and run it for how long, that's another good question, at least eight weeks before we start talking about deloading and cycling again. But follow this for eight weeks, minimally. If you wanna throw in some pull-ups, I'm not going to get on your case about that, that's fine. I will also in the link below, it's gonna be below in the comment section, I will have a Google Doc, because I like Google Docs, it's the new technology, where I will have this all written out for you. You can print it out, you can put it on your fridge, you can show it to Gran, and everyone's gonna be very proud of you. But most important for me is you actually do this program, you put it to work, you get awesome results, you remember your buddy Pat Flynn who helped you out, so you hit the subscribe button, you like, you comment below. We'll see you guys in the next video. Strong on. Hey, one more thing real quick. If you want to up your kettlebell game even more, be sure to check out my free guide of 101 kettlebell workouts. Oh my goodness. What are you going to do with that many workouts? You're going to get in great shape. That's what's going to happen. 101kettlebellworkouts.com. It's free. Check it out.